this is the day, and this is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you all. Well, happy Resurrection Day, everybody. I hope you have a blessed one. Well, I want to give you a an update of what I've been uh, dealing with for the last 40 days. I decided to do a walk with the Lord for the season of Lent. And uh, many, many good things happened and a few things that were surprising. So number one was on, let's see, March the 15th, my brother called to ask for prayer. He had found out that he had uh, cancer in his kidneys and his pancreas and so of course we all jumped on that and stayed uh, faithful to that and whatever the Lord was going to decide what was going to happen we were going to go along with it I mean he knows what's best he knows when we're coming and he knows when we're going okay and then on uh, February the 20th we were surprised that my brother drove all the way down from Norba Linda to come and visit us. And we had a fabulous visit. I've got a little quick video that I took of us together. And uh, it was so awesome. He looked good. His complexion was really rosy. Uh, he talked 95% of the time with us and sharing. And so I hadn't actually seen my brother for about a year and a half. And uh, so it was an awesome, awesome visit. And then on March the 19th, I got a call from his wife that my brother was in pain and for me to come. And so I did. I got there at 10 o'clock in the morning and I stayed until the next day till about 2.30 in the afternoon just caregiving him and being with him and being so grateful that I was able to spend that day and a half with him because like I said, I hadn't seen him for a year and a half. Anyway, that same day after I left, approximately four o'clock in the afternoon, his blood pressure continued to kind of go low. And so at 1.55 in the morning, on the 23rd of March, he had a major heart attack and they could not revive him. So he went right away. And we considered that a blessing because we know he would have suffered a lot had he gone through chemo and all that stuff because of the cancer. Okay. Uh, and so another thing that occurred was normally my blood pressure is 98 over whatever, good numbers. But from that point on, my blood pressure went up to 136 over whatever the number was. And over the week, slowly went back down to, uh, well, it never did go back down to 98. I think it's about 109, something like that. Very good. So then on April the 1st, we had the memorial and there were at least 200 people there. So my brother, being the wonderful person that he was, always positive and friendly with everybody, uh, had made a great impression on those 200 people. And it was really nice to see, to see them all there. On April the 10th, 11, 12, and 13, my son rented a beautiful seven bedroom French chateau home right on the water in Oceanside, California. And that was, of course, fabulous. I'll drop in a few pictures of that or video. And then today, I'm just about ready to get dressed and I'm going to church. So uh, I wish you all a fabulous day. I've missed you all and uh, been deciding if I'm going to continue to make videos. I don't know what the store has in for what the Lord has in store for me from this point on, uh, but I'm accepting whatever it is. So it was very nice to see you and take care. Never forget that young person inside of you, okay? Girls, I'm talking especially to you. Bye.